From the Ironga mountain and surrounds Namibia, this would be just outside Karibib Usakos in Namibia. Um, these would be shoal tourmaline crystals, the black tourmaline, esoterically good for protection against negativity, radiation and the likes. A solid, pretty solid formation of the shoal tourmaline intersected with some, uh, this may be some feldspar, quite typically associated. And also, I think on this piece, we may have some opal in or highlight, which of course fluoresces under shortwave UV light. So, uh, under UV, this one is most likely, these sections on the sides will most likely fluoresce a bright yellow to, to green. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. If I if I mention uh, uh, Opal AN, I mention Opal AN instead of Highlight, just not to confuse uh, between the difference of hail Halite, which is actually salt. This is definitely not salt. From a display point of view, it would stand flat like this, going around like that. And I always look for the bend star in these uh, tourmalines. Now here you have the star starting quite low on the specimen. Let's see if we go around this way. Ben Star, very small one over there. So maybe that's the, the uh, what was it, the A series. <laughs> All the way from the Ronga and surrounds Namibia. Oh, and a fine coating of uh, iron oxides or actually girthite, hematite in stages of oxidation. This can be removed. I found this quite aesthetic on this particular piece.